Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 12 of I Cut Two Planets. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Let's see what happened on this week's, because honestly, I don't remember what happens on this week's. Oh, okay, never mind. Now I do. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. You honestly gotta love these three. I do love the fact that they're getting, like, a little more attention now that the fact is Mao has announced, Oh, hey, I'm Hana. It seems like it's very similar to, um, I can't remember the name. Oh my God. Uh, 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 I'm blanking. Um, the, the queen thing for, uh, the, the first season of Aikatsu, or the first, like, two seasons, no, three seasons of OG Aikatsu, where, uh, Mizuki was the first, and then I think after Mizuki, it was... Oh, I don't know, because I'm. It had to be Sakura, because eventually the final one was Akari Chan, and that was when they got to live in that um, like that townhouse or whatever, villa type place by themselves, where they had their own um, their own bedroom, their own dance studio, living room, like uh, like dead ass a house, and I was like, oh my god, I remember seeing that after graduating high school, and I was like. I would love to have that. Your own estate, your own private thing by yourself. Oh my god, that would be so good. Like, because your girl has dreams and your girls would love to live in a really nice penthouse. If I become, you know, this, um, <laughs> you know, a, a journalist in entertainment journalism with pop culture and everything. Because as much as I still love doing this, this is like my my hobby one of the best things i don't get paid much for it because it's through my patreons and everything but i would like more that's the best thing so your girl wants to go to school and better herself oh yeah look at the teddy bear mm-hmm That makes sense. And it makes you wonder, like, how long they're going to, you know, do this competition. How long is it going to run for? Mm. What's up? Mm, maybe because you're still new? I mean, because you're going to have to worry about, you know, makeup exams. <laughs> Because remember, you decided to start all the way at the bottom again. And Hana? Yeah, because unlike those three, you two are relatively new. You're still, you're still, you're newbies, but you're not at that newbie level still. You're maybe kind of, still at the beginner. 
So I say newbie beginner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then intermediate and then hard, challenging. No. Oh, fun. See, the one thing that I like about Mao, and this is kind of almost typical with, like, every Aikatsu character, um, well, the main protagonists and such, they make you want to be the best version of yourself, you know? <laughs> Basically, like, I ain't taking no for an answer. Like, this is what I want to do, and this is how I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's my way or the highway. <laughs> Yeah, how'd you do, babe? I sucked. Poor baby. Oh, that's gonna be me when I go back to school. No. Are we just saying, I guess you, let's use Aikatsu for helping us with math? I mean, that kind of makes sense.
Mm-hmm. Just to get you up back in your stuff. Because, I mean, you've been a little out of it for, like, the last couple of minutes. We've all noticed. Mm-hmm. I love how we show on, and she's not even in this episode yet. <laughs> Good job. That's like a B, yeah, B. so cute hmm? oh pick me up Go on. You'll do fine. Oh, yeah, Anna. Oh, okay, on. <laughs> Is that a phoenix? It is a phoenix! Okay, that's a male voice.
I gotta say, whoever this male voice is, you, you got a nice voice. Oh, God. Don't make me fall in love with a man just because his voice. But you know what? That's okay. We've all done that. Mm hmm No matter how many animes we've watched, we've always fallen in love for a character because of their voice. Like, oof. <laughs> Watch it be, like, maybe someone from M4. No, you know who it could possibly be? I don't remember his name. Um, it's, it's the guy from season one who had, like, a really on-off, like, chemistry with Ichigo, who ended up becoming a teacher by, like, season three. If that's him, oh. We've won. We've won. That's best boy. Do you know how fine he was in that first season? Like, oh my god. And then it was worse when we got to season two or season three. And he wore them glasses. Like, oh my god. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Uh, he's so pretty. I was like wondering why on was taking a little too long. I don't know why. Okay. No. I know what her just reminds me of. Um, if any of y'all play <laughs> Idol Master Cinderella Girls and you know the character of Karin. Um, Karin, yeah, there's two girls. Um, Karin's uh, Sinfest card is not, she looks like just like a red badass pirate, but the, my best girl, my queen, Kaede Sakagaki, her limited New Year's card is literally looking like a dang phoenix. And uh, the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Aww. <laughs> 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 
you know, you need a pen light now. This is not a pen light. This is just some lip gloss, but still, you need that pen light. <laughs> I love him. Oh my god. There, there's always that one fan who is in the front like, yes! Yes! <laughs> it's so cute. I thought it like paused on me or something. Or muted, but because it's not like it did for a moment. <laughs> oh! Finally! Finally! Let's go! Let's go! I love her style! That is so freaking cute! Oh my god! She's so pretty. It took 12 weeks for this chick to pop up. Don't know who she is, but she already is looking awesome. She might even be my brand new best girl. Sorry, Kyoko. But... <laughs> I love how I switch new girls so freaking quickly. It happens with any anime series that I've seen. Because, heck, I even did it for Idol Master Shinola Girls. Like, um, the one who I really liked first. Like, I still love Kayede because Kayede is still my number one. But before Kayede, um, it was Rin. I was a Rin girl. And then, you know, learning more about my best girl, my queen, I was like, mm, nope. Kayede Takagaki. I mean, you know what? Here's the funny thing because I don't think I've shown this to people. Um, and this is how you kind of know that I am, like, she's my best girl. So, I was shopping one day on this website, and I saw something of hers, and I got it. This is her keychain. I got this for, like, under $10, and it's the cutest thing ever, and I'm so happy I have it. There's a couple other things I went on there, but yeah. This was a cute, adorable episode. I'm glad, you know, Mal passed her, you know, math exam retake, because honestly, as someone who also hates math, but has a little small love for it when I know my edge, and I'm like, it, when there's a day where I am not confused about math, and when I do my math lessons and everything, I'm like, yes, but there's, when... I was in high school, even middle school, I dreaded math. I could not stand math because math gave me too, so, 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 so much problems in, like, um, more of middle school than uh, high school because when I moved back here, everything was literally in a review. But, yeah, I, I'm glad that she did good. The performance is good, too. So yeah, whoever this new chick is, because she's in the opening, she she's going to play one of the other characters that we're not going to see, I'm guessing, until episode, this is 12, 14. That's probably when she's officially going to make her appearance in the, like, uh, the world of Aikatsu and stuff, and seeing what her 3D idol looks like, because they've shown, like, a little bit, but not too much and such. So I think she's going to be really cool. Want to know who voices the phoenix? We know it's a man. Probably a good a good-looking man, like... <laughs> <laughs> I can't win myself. As I was saying, but yeah, he's he probably a really good looking guy. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Because I mean, if y'all have seen Jujutsu Kaisen and y'all know who voices Nanami, mm, that man is very, very good looking. Yes. But honestly, yeah, this episode was really adorable. Um, like I said, with the three characters who um, are big, big idol fans, love the fact that they're getting a lot more of, um, of attention in this show because it feels like at first when I started watching this and we got to see them I thought they were going to be the types of characters that, are, that were not going to be here every single episode maybe like mm, every three to four episodes but it seems like they're going to be getting a lot more um time dedication and 
development with our our main four girls and anyone else who comes in because my biggest fear about this show and this is almost like with any show in general um when they add in more characters you wonder how number one the time management is going to go and the development of each girl or by the time or character and then when you finish the series overall so like let's say this show lasts for two years maybe three uh, my my thing is i'm thinking it's going to last a year so but let's say it goes one more year um and the show's over by 20 2022 or 2023 and when I do, like, my final thoughts on the show overall, it makes me wonder, is, like, am I going to appreciate what Bandai um, did for every single girl? It's kind of like the same thing of how I felt with getting into the Love Life series or the Pretty Cure series for as long as I've been, I've been a part of that series. Anything that usually has a whole bunch of characters, because sometimes, in my opinion, I feel like they kind of half ass it with characters especially when it's more than when it's five characters or maybe even 10 characters and you're trying to give everyone screen time but then you add more characters to bring in more screen time for everybody else and then by the time you finish this series it's just too much characters and it's really overwhelming there's some um there's some soap operas and other things that I've watched in the past, like from Pretty Little Liars to like Desperate Housewives to any other t regular old TV show that comes on the freaking television where you get into a certain season and they add too many characters. And you're like, hold up, wait, 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 wait. I love the fact that we are adding new characters. That's okay. But how can you give time to not only these new characters, but to these old characters as well? And that's why I feel like some, um, screenwriters and everything they always have asked their productions i don't know what you know the series of akatsu planet is going to do with characters and such they're keeping it very small with the main girls but who knows if this show gets to like episode 25 and we get into the second half of the series how many girls are they going to add to it then and then truly how are we going to feel or how am i truly going to feel when we get a whole bunch of characters and it feels like one is at the bottom of the barrel we're picking at things to try to make her um development while everybody else has truly gotten like everything it's like how i felt with akko for I Cut Two Stars, because in my opinion, Akko got the bottom of the barrel. Akko did not get a lot of episodes focused on her, which was truly sad, because even though, yeah, she wasn't one of my personal favorite characters, there were times where I liked to see her on screen. And it sucked that it, it was always like, okay, because like, literally, don't look at season one of I Cut Two Stars, look at season two. Look at the second half when Yume and the rest of them, you know, ended up becoming S4, especially Akko herself. Name how many episodes Akko got, like, the biggest development in. I can only really, on the top of my head right now, name four. Four or two. Because she got, like, the bottom of the barrel. It was, like, almost, um, they didn't care about her. So sometimes I felt like, you know... What they do is, like, people, <laughs> and I, I feel like people still do this now, they have people, like, uh, not only critics, but uh, people who are who work in the studios or the animation company or whatever studio that they're a part of, they, all, they go out and they look on the internet, anywhere, all of social media, and they scour to see who is everybody's personal favorite girl, who's worst girl, yada, yada, yada. And they take that to you know the higher ups who are creating the anime and such and that's how they figure out who's going to get the most development and who's probably not going to get the most development i don't know i mean that's just a little guess that i've had ever since i have been with this series since 2012 and i have always seen that i mean i've seen it even with the pretty potter series when i did um even when i was making a uh, reactions to idol time brady potter you could see that and it was all over almost every single show that i've almost seen but yeah that's my little rant for the day but other than that guys that is my reaction to you towards episode 12 of ikatsu planet if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially possibly hopefully i pray um, either Tuesday, next Tuesday or Wednesday, or next Saturday, possibly for the hopeful, we don't know yet, for episode 13. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!